on my way to the Mill Guard Breast Cancer Center. And I'm even surprised my camera works because they hacked in it so bad it just never works. So I mean, you're gonna see less videos and that's what they want. Because whenever you try to start a business when you try to come up in America, then you always got like million dollar companies shutting you down. And they pay to infiltrate into the systems, into the technology, whether it's your car or your camera or your laptop or whatever. But anyways, I'm on my way to the Mill Guard Breast Cancer Center because I have a growth, like a, um, a mole that area it hurts and also my breast was kind of drooping and so I talked to my doctor about it and she didn't fill out the form right she signed me up for a mammogram and then I talked to the lady and she said that I should have a uh, what you call ultrasound or something but she said something about a needle and I got a little bit worried so I'm hoping that I don't have to have no needles and they're supposed to do 3d pictures or something and show me give me some kind of idea so I'm really nervous uh, normally my mom would be with me but she pretty much has been confiscated from the uh, Russell company now I, she can't even be here for me um, or she'll you know she basically is, is there she can't really do much and she can't help me because she's been told to just you know let me become homeless or whatever happens to me who cares and even just any little bit of helping me gets her in trouble. But um, I don't want her to be in trouble, so I didn't even call her. And she can't really remember anyway what's going on because of her dementia. And so, I mean, I'm pretty much on my own. And um, I gotta get over here. This is always in my So, I, um, it's ironic that I'm going to the Mail Guard Breast Cat Center because I used to work at the Mail Guard School of Business at the University of Washington. And um, they're the ones who, you know, set me back for so far back to the 1700s as far as economically, um, financially. And so, you know, for me to have to go here, and I notice, um, this Milgar guy got, has a lot of centers for the poor. So he's, I met him before he came there, and he did a keynote speaker address to the students, UW students, and I helped him, you know, coordinate it, and I got to know him a little bit, and he was a real nice guy. And I actually found his um, speech to be, you know, interesting. Um, so, I guess I gotta get over. I don't know if this line cuts off. Oh no, I guess I can stay in this room. Um, you know, I had told my ex that I was sick and stuff and he didn't even care. You know, that's it, the exit to his house. It's kind of ironic, you know, driving by there and knowing that he's not even here for me when I'm sick and I can't count on him for nothing. Um, he does pay his child support, I'm thankful for that. But that's about it. Yeah, he does. He spends most of his time golfing and chasing after whores. But um, anyway, so I'm going here, and I, you know, I'm trying not to, you know, be upset or be worried about anything because who knows until you see. So I just wanted to give you an update. You know, I've been just stressed out and um, trying to start these businesses while I'm sick, which has been really hard. And it's like you got 10 million obstacles against you. And then when they know you're sick, that's when they try to take you down worse. And um, they don't want women to start businesses. They don't want Christian businesses. Um, they just want to dominate the whole world, I guess. So let me see. I hope I didn't miss the turn. I got to park down by the Fred Myers. Um, okay, so my camera went around here. 
I'm gonna just park here. And I'm gonna just sit down and this is it. And if you feel a lump, women, or you see a growth or a mole on your breast, or they're drooping, or just not looking right in your bra, just please. I urge you to get checked. I had a mammogram in 08 and it was okay. So I'm hoping everything will be all right. I'm just praying to God. Okay, I'm sitting in a women's breast care center. I've been in here for hours. I guess they have a backup and I've just witnessed one of their machines isn't working. And I guess they've, they um, usher the white women in ahead and then they put the black women in the bad machine that doesn't take the good pictures. This woman, Laura, was so rude just now to me and the way she handled my breast. She didn't even tell me, oh, I'm going to touch your breast, this, it, uh. And then she just threw them around like they were just a piece of tires or something. And then um, I guess I was supposed to have an ultrasound, but then they told me I couldn't even have one and that I can only have a mammogram first. And I was misinformed from the lady who um, took the interview, I mean the scheduled appointment. So, I mean, I'm feeling like I want to leave right now. Um, and it's just nothing but no fun at all. I just sat here and watched them usher this rich woman ahead of me. She got the room with the better x-ray machine. This is the state of America with the discrimination against women with breast cancer. I'm still, now I have to sit here another half an hour while this white woman got ushered ahead of me. I guess because she can afford fancy vacations to Europe, okay, and has an iPad for a four-year-old daughter. That was... Three hours I was in here. But I have to say thank you, Lord. I don't have breast cancer. And it was worth the wait. Find out I don't have it. So thank you, God.